We're developing technology to enable what we call the world's next paradigm of transportation, bringing transportation to the 21st century. We design and build small flying vehicles for transportation in places where uh, roads don't work or they don't exist. We think this will be the most dramatically disruptive technology um, in the UAV industry. The work we've done so far has been mostly in developing or emerging world countries where there's a need to transport uh, diagnostics or medicine. Do you see yourself branching out into, into other areas? The three big applications in my mind are transportation of diagnostics and medicines, so or medical. Um, the second is courier. Uh, and the third is e-commerce goods. And I see them happening in that order. And e-commerce, last mile delivery, is probably going to be the biggest uh, application. Our mission in this company is to develop the technology that is required, that is necessary, to basically set up aerial transportation networks and have other people do it. So we would like FedEx and UPS and Amazon and Google and all the people in that space to come to us, buy the technology and run the networks themselves. The number of that industry is estimated to be $800 billion. Um, close to 70% of that cost is going to the last mile. Within that, close to 80% is small stuff, below two kilograms. So that leaves you with a market of close to half a trillion. Uh, to disrupt with this. What do you see as happening in the next 5, 10, 20 years regulation globally that will allow this technology to, to flourish? My assumption is that US, the US is going to probably be um, one of the slow to adopt countries. I see that um, in five years from now there will certainly be countries that would have taken advantage of this hype and would have taken the proper steps to understand some case studies, to test this technology and to provide permissions to people that can really guarantee reliability. So let's talk about proof of concept. Uh, Jeff Bezos goes on 60 Minutes and talks about um, how Amazon is testing uh, its drone delivery service. Um, Google's made no secret of its own program. What does that do for a company that's uh, literally still out of, working out of garage? For Modernet, this is big, big market validation. We've been pioneering uh, the space since 2011, and most of the organizations and the people that are doing something in the space today, we have um, met with them, we have pitched to them, and it was just too bold for them. And today we have a totally different scenario for investors, for uh, market, for potential users, for potential customers. How far are we really away from, from seeing these in action? I think the technology is there, or almost getting there. Uh, there are applications that you can use this technology reliably today or within an acceptable um, uh, rate of reliability. This is a vehicle that can transport up to one kilogram of payload, which is 2.2 pounds, uh, over 20 kilometers. So we optimize for distance. It's connected to the internet all of the time, so it has a small computer and a modem that connects it to the internet, and that's how you're able to instruct it and access it. The thing that we really have to work very hard on is reliability and cost. So we're hoping to achieve um, the price point between three and five thousand dollars. I would place um, scaled operations or small flying vehicles to fly uh, even everyday things like e-commerce things, you know, within the next three to five years, not longer than that. The potential is huge and it will basically rewrite um, pretty much our everyday lives around the planet.